We are now on our last part of our lesson para sa week 1. About solving quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. How to use quadratic formula? Here are the steps recommended in solving quadratic equation using quadratic formula. If you want to know on how to derive the quadratic formula, I will put the link in the description box below. Now, to better understand this, let's have an example. Our first example is 2x squared plus 3x is equal to 27. Step 1, rewrite the quadratic equation in standard form. As you can see, the given equation is not written in a standard form. So we have to rewrite it first. To do that, we can apply the addition property of equality by adding negative 27 on both sides of the equation, just like this. So here, positive 27 minus 27 is equal to 0. So we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 27 is equal to 0. Now, kung ayaw nyo naman ng ganyan at gusto nyo ng mas mabilis, you can do transposition just like this. Okay, so yung positive 27, ita transpose natin dito sa left side ng equation, kaya magiging negative 27. Okay, so pwede nyo gawin yung gantong proseso or pwede, or pwede rin yung kanina ang ipinakita ko. Step 2, identify the values of A, B, and C and substitute them into the formula. Now, if the quadratic equation is already in its standard form, katulad nito, you can now identify the values of A, B, and C. So, paano nyo malalaman ang value ng A, B, and C? Let's recall. Sa standard form ng quadratic equation, ang A ay yung number part ng quadratic term natin. So, dito sa equation natin, ang quadratic term natin ay yung 2x squared. So, yung number part dyan, which is yung 2, yan yung value ng A natin. Yung B naman ay yung number part ng linear term natin, which is yung 3. At yung C naman ay yung number na walang kasamang variable. Ito yung constant term natin, which is yung negative 27. Okay, so in short, we have A is equals to 2, is 1. Then yung B natin is positive 3. Yung C natin is negative 27. So wag kayong malilito dito ha. Maraming nagkakamali dito. Kasi minsan, hindi nila sinusulat yung sign nung number. So, kung yan ay negative, dapat meron din siyang sign dito ng negative. Ganon din dito sa B. Kung ito ay negative 3, dapat yung B mo dito is negative 3. After identifying the values of A, B, and C, sa substitute na natin ito dito sa formula or sa quadratic formula natin. So, ang quadratic formula natin is x is equals to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Okay, so we have x is equals to, yung formula natin is negative b. So, kung ito yung negative, yan, tapos yung b natin is 3 or positive 3, then plus or minus, yung b natin is positive 3, so yan, then tinopy lang natin tong exponent, then minus 4, then yung a natin is 2, then yung c is negative 27, divided by 2, then, yung value ng A natin, which is yung 2. So, sinundan lang natin kung ano yung formula dito. Pinalitan lang natin yung mga value ng A, B, and C dito sa nakuha natin kanina. Okay? So, saan ay nasusundan ninyo? Ngayon, isisimplify na natin to. So, first, paano siya naging ganyan? So, negative is 1. Negative times positive 3. The answer is negative 3. Then, copy lang natin yan, plus or minus. The square root, copy. Then, paano naging 9 yan? Because 3 squared or 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. The negative 8 times negative 27 is equals to positive 216. Then, all over, 2 times 2 is equals to 4. Then, this one, so simplify pa natin yan. So, copy ang negative 3 plus or minus 225 because 9 plus 216 is equal to 225. Then, copy 4. Then, tuloy lang natin. Kuhanin muna natin yung square root ng 225. So, mag-iisip kayo ng number na kapag minultiply mo dalawang beses sa sarili niya ay 225 ang sagot. Okay, so, anong number yun? Okay, so, it's positive and negative 15. So, negative 3, copy lang yan. Tapos, plus or minus, copy. Then, yung 15, ito yung square root ng 225. 15 times 15 is 225. Okay, copy yung denominator na 4 natin. Then, next, 
So, since we have here positive and negative, 15, so dalawa yan, so hihiwalayin lang natin yan. So, yung una, x is equal to negative 3 plus 15 muna, then over 4. Then, the other one is x is equal to negative 3, copy lang yan, then this time, negative 50 naman ang ilalagay natin, all over 4. So, sisimplify lang natin to. So, negative 3 plus 15 is equals to positive 12 all over 4. Then, 12 divided by 4 is equals to positive 3. So, that's our first solution. Then, here, negative 3 minus 15 is equals to negative 18 all over 4. Then, negative 18 divided by 4 is equals to negative 9 over 2. Okay, so bakit 9 over 2? Kinuha lang natin dito yung uh, GCF or greatest common factor ng 18 at saka 4. So ang GCF nila ay 2. So dinivide lang natin siya. 18 divided by 2 is 9 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Or okay lang din kung maging decimal to. So walang problema. Okay, so that's our second solution. So next, let's have another example. Number 2. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equals to 0. Step 1, rewrite the quadratic equation in standard form. Okay, so, anong mapapansin nyo dito sa ating given equation? Okay, so, tama. Nakasulat na ito sa standard form of quadratic equation. So, kaya, pupunta na tayo sa step 2. So, hindi na natin siya kailangan i-rewrite. Okay, so, in step 2 natin, identify the values of A, B, and C. And after that, one, substitute natin yung mga value ng A, B, and C doon sa quadratic formula. Okay, so dito, katulad yung sabi ko kanina sa example number 1, ang value ng A natin ay yung number part ng quadratic term natin, which is 1. Okay, tapos yung B naman natin, ito yung number part ng linear term natin, which is negative 5. Yung C naman, ito yung number na walang kasamang variable, or ito yung constant term natin sa standard form of quadratic equation, which is yung positive 4. So in short, ito yung value ng A, B, and C natin. So, A is equals 1, B is equals to negative 5, then C is equals to positive 4. Then, isa-substitute natin to dito sa ating quadratic formula. X is equals to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2 times A. So, we have, yan. So, eto, yung formula natin. Yung negative sa formula natin, eto yon. Yung mga yellow part dito. Ito yung mga value ng A, B, and C natin. Sinabstitute lang natin siya dito. So, negative. Then, yung B, open and close parenthesis, negative 5. Kasi negative 5 yung B natin dito. Then, plus or minus the square root of. Yung value ng B, yung value ng B natin is negative 5. So, we have negative 5 squared minus 4. Then, yung A natin is 1. Yung C natin is positive 4. Divided by 2 times yung value ng A, which is 1. So, simplify na natin to. So, we have, okay, bakit naging positive 5? Because negative times negative 5 is equals to positive 5. Plus or minus, then the square root of negative 5 squared or negative 5 times negative 5 is equals to magiging positive 25. Then negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 4 is equals to negative 16. Then, okay, then 2 times 1 is equals to 2. Simplify again. So, we have, copy lang yung 5 plus or minus. Okay, bakit naging the square root of 9? Because 25 minus 16 is equal to positive 9 all over 2. So, ituloy lang natin to dito sa kabilang side. Kukunin lang natin yung square root ng positive 9. So, ano yung number? Nakapag minultiply natin dalawang beses sa sarili niya ay positive 9 yung sagot. Okay, so yung number na yun ay positive and negative 3. So, yung 5, kinapi lang natin, then yung 2 na denominator. So, dito, since meron tayong positive and negative 3 na sagot, so, hihiwalay lang natin yun. Okay, so, we have 5, positive 3 muna, then divided by 2. Then, yung isa, x is equals to 5 minus 3 naman, or negative 3, then divided by 2. So, simplify lang natin yan, 5 plus 3 is equals to 8, all over 2, then 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4. So, yun yung first solution natin. Second one is 5 minus 3 is equals to positive 2 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is equals to positive 1. That's our second solution. So, okay, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. You can now answer learning task 3 letter D in your activity sheets. Bye!